Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. One of the most important pieces of advice one can give another in their service of Hashem and how to get closer, how to improve your relationship with Hashem, with your own self and with all those around you, is by um, strengthening our amuna, our faith in Hashem. And this ref refle uh, reflects itself and uh, expresses itself in a way of letting go of our stress that we put on ourselves to realize that we have a master hashem is our king and we have to trust in hashem and hashem loves us more than we could ever love ourselves hashem created us he put a part of himself his our soul within us we're a part we're a part of hashem we're one with hashem we realize that the only reason he put us through this is putting us through this is because he loves us and he wants to give us the opportunity to reach even greater heights then we'll realize that all of the situation that presents itself in front of us is, is good because it's from Hashem. And this is something that's very healthy that we have to take the weight off our own shoulders. And then a person can ask, but we're in this world and we have decisions to make and we have responsibilities. Of course, we trust in Hashem, we believe in Hashem, but we have to do our part. And the answer is, and the response to that is, yes, that's true, but that's in no way a contradiction because while it's true that we have to do our part, and we have to, you know, we're responsible for our own part and to do our best. But the rest is in Hashem's hands. And that, us doing our own part, must be that once we do our part, we trust all the external factors we shall not stress about. We cannot stress about things that are out of our control. We do our best. We try our best. We connect ourselves to what's right. We connect ourselves to Hashem. And we let Hashem handle the rest. And that should express itself with, in, in a tremendously joyous way. We should be very excited and happy in our service of Hashem. And we should not overthink in a, in a crippling way, but we should just recognize that a single moment, we could do tshuva in a single moment, every moment, every thought, one single thought that we connect to Hashem could change our entire lives. So this is something to meditate upon, to reflect upon, to, to, to really delve into, to live with that Hashem is real. And Hashem is guiding our path, and Hashem will let us fall. And we, He's with us, and we have a relationship with Him. And, we have to, and when we learn Torah, we learn about Hashem. We do mitzvahs, we act in a godly way, in the way of Hashem. And we must appreciate the life that's been given to us, uh, given to us. And we must always remember that Hashem adores us. Hashem loves you. Hashem is with you. It's okay. Let go of the, of the. Uh, over analyzation and focus on service of Hashem and and that you know because the highest level of serving Hashem is with simplicity even when you learn the deepest secrets of Torah you reach the greatest of heights we're still all children in the image of Hashem we're all still Hashem's children and even the biggest holiest tzaddik and the youngest child have infinite have infinitely more to grow in their awareness of Hashem and their, and their knowledge of Hashem. Why? Because the Torah is infinite and Hashem is beyond infinite. So that is why the simplest serving Hashem in a way of simplicity is the highest level. To always remember that you're the child of Hashem and Hashem loves you. And with that, it's a good way to, prep, to prepare to bring Mashiach. That this is the way of Bitachon. And the Baal Shem Tov explains that we have to work on our Bitachon, our trust in Hashem, and that should open up a love and a fear of Hashem and the joy in our godly service. So may Hashem bless you all, and we experience this all today.